Professor Guido Lanker, you're an expert on the welfare state, which of course, uh, national welfare state, which is financed by a growth-based economy. Now we witness that this economy causes a lot of ecological disruption. So what does this mean for rethinking the welfare state? Yeah, I think that is one of the major challenges that we are facing now. I mean, there's the whole climate emergency that requires like these deep transformations of our society, but at the same time we want to do this to do this rapidly. But we also want to avoid increasing inequalities. We want to make sure that everybody's on board with this. Usually we have the welfare state to do that, to reduce these inequalities. But the welfare state is growth based, really thrives on economic growth and also contributes to economic growth by smoothing consumption, mm -hmm. for instance. And so how we are going to, to, to square this, how, how we're going at the intersection of welfare state on the one hand and this transformation of society towards a carbon neutral society as rapidly as possible, on the other hand, that is a major challenge. Now we don't, at this point, we, we not, don't necessarily, certainly not as academics, have like the ultimate answer to that, but it, it is a question that we need to confront head on. I think basic services have always been a core element of welfare states, to, together with minimum income protection, for instance, and redistribution through social insurance scheme. So basically this idea of how this future society should look like already contains these elements in the current welfare state. Only the problem is that currently we finance basic services like health care, uh, like education, but also care services like child care, for instance, or long-term care. We finance this through an, econom through, an economy, through an economy that needs growth. Maybe an interesting new element which is introduced also with the donut economy of uh, Kate Rout is that we don't only talk about a basic floor of social rights, we also talk about a ceiling, uh, tackling overconsumption and also an important uh, proposal there, for instance, is a wealth tax. This could maybe also be part of the puzzle of financing welfare state in the future. Yeah, absolutely. So, so I think wealth taxes need to be taken seriously um, as part of the financing base of the welfare state and society of the future. And there's a lot of work to do there. Um, and so we need to definitely move into that direction. Also to take a bit of the pressure off of this employment-based system which is currently financing most welfare states. But at the same time, we need to do this in a way that garners sufficient public support. Mm -hmm. And we know that public support for these kinds of systems is not always at a very high level. So that is also a big challenge. How can we make sure that people are on board with this, are ready to support these kinds of policies? And this needs to happen all at the same time. So yes, absolutely, we need to, to pay more attention to wealth taxes, but we're not there yet to implement this uh, at, this, at this moment.